What makes a great play is a combination of many different things. The clutch factor, the level of competition, the context of what's happening in the game, the impact it had on the overall game, how stylish it is, and how memorable it is. Today I will be finding the best pro play on every Valorant agent. Going through each role one by one, starting with controller. The first agent we will start with is Viper. Viper's utility allows for some great clutch moments. An honourable mention goes to Boaster's 1v4 on Fracture versus Mech. However, the best Viper play goes to Nats. His amazing ace versus Team Secret. So the eviction note is now posted. Nats gonna try and find his way out. Denies the ult. Swings it. Oh, Nats. Oh, Nats out of nowhere. Three huge kills. But it's still a 2v3. It ain't over yet. Wits, can you do it? He's found the first step of 2v2. But time is starting to play a factor in Nats. He's slowly working his way around. He's got another. Nats has done oh, it all. For Astra, there's a lot to figure in. With great wall tech and great pull timings. But the pick for the best Astra play is none of those. The honourable mention goes to Sugar Zero with his ace on split. The top pick goes to one of the fastest aces in Valorant from former 100 Thieves member, Boy. The spammy is coming through. Nice Quick turn! Flash. Oh boy! Oh my no, God. What? What was that? Bro, what was that? What is this turn? ADS! Often Brimstone is not known for pulling off insane plays, but in the hands of pros, anything is possible. But the best Brimstone play goes to 2's 1v2 versus NRG. It was during a crucial moment in overtime and crushed NRG's mental. No smokes left for 2 This is just bold, 2 Hold your breath, try and make that cross. Oh, oh my what? god! He's, He's so aware! Out of nowhere from 2 and now a 1v1 in Infinite, this is 4 HP! the right place at the right time. Nefines, get your gun out. Oh, oh my word. What are these rounds? Omen is next. Often used as a more aggressive controller, Omen is not sure of having great plays. The honorable mention goes to the most recent play from Bang with his one versus three versus Leviathan to secure a 13-11 win. But the best play goes to Marv with this iconic play and his reaction. Shots are found. He's given a right angle at the back of the site with a frenzy of play. And at hand, Marv ripping them apart. The Mako's still alive, and it is just down to Marv with the Bulldog. Anything's possible in the 1v1. Four kills for him. And a Red Bull cast. Clutch. A masterclass performance. couldn't find a great play with Harper, so leave that one in the comments. We move on to Sentinels next. Killjoy players can lock down a round single-handedly, and therefore Killjoy has many very memorable moments. The honourable mentions goes to XX Killjoy bug turret, Nivera's ace versus crew, what is that play? Nevera gets the ball! And Sagetsu's ace on split. Basically became useless, but the entry's still great in this corner. They know he's there. Another missed shot, and somehow he's come out with four! The turret even finishes it from the ace! But the best play goes to Alfie's 1v2 on Icebox versus Loud in the VZT lock-in grand final. Jet Force, it's all down to Alfie. Noise everywhere, the double swing! Spray down! Sage mains are usually playing very supportive. However, Battle Sage is possible. The honorable mention goes to Mimi's 1 vs 4 vs Cloud9. So the sound cues are there for Cloud9. They've heard everything but Mimi! A gap? Oh my. Ashes looking for the last kill. It's gonna be Mel. Only with the oh. Guardian. And she gets it! The Cloud kill for the defuse! For the top play, Scream showing why he's the headshot machine with this insane Battle Sage Ace. The counter, rather, of popping down the old pushing mid to catch them oh, on the way and Scream! Oh my god, man! Headshot after headshot! Scream comes through to ruin their day. Toronto's even nated himself and Scream aces it out! A headshot! Cyber players are usually known to be lurking around the map looking for a backstab. 
The honourable mention goes to Dapper's 4K vs Fnatic at Masters Reykjavik 2021. But the best Cypher play goes to Sagetsu's 4K Clutch vs Paper X to lift the VCT Copenhagen tree. Rangers are still forsaken, performing under the pressure! Sagetsu aims the reset! Absolutely ridiculous! And what a play! Jamba has a myriad of plays pre-nerf, as he dominated pro play for a long stint. However, there is one play that beats them all. Artist's 1 HP clutch versus DRX. Well, okay, Juan goes in and gets the dip away. Does get marked though. Prowler, not a problem just yet. Another no way! Oh, oh my god, god! god! The man can do no wrong! One of the greats to stand on this stage so far! Now, on to initiators. No Sova has many great plays on him, so there are a lot of honourable mentions. Kawazin's clutch on Icebox. Hiko's clutch versus Gambit. Shade off's good for one. Vigo. Eco. Trades one out. Oh, just narrowly not able to get the second. Vigo. He's pitch again. He's able to get a second one. Eco. 24 health. Running for the fences. Is Chronicle has plenty of health. Chronicle on the tap. He's got to get Bros it to don't happen. fake. He's got to get it to happen. Oh my Hiko God. swings out. He gets four. He gets the Red Bull clutch. And Chronicle's insane ace versus crew. Playing behind the smoke. And there's the opening. As they come around the corner, they're not oh, expecting you to still be aggressive. And he's going to get all five! An ace for Chronicle! The round saved! But the sleeper top pick is Yampi's ace versus Sentinels, which is one of the greatest displays of Sova's utility to win a round with an ace. Comes the Hunter's Fury. Let's try to remove these, these defensive players, but Shazam taking down two, two key players. But, oh, 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 Yampi! He's got a two-piece himself, but Ten still alive at the backside with that operator in hand. Low HP, but he wants to keep the angles held. Waiting out the cloud burst. Or oh, the recon with the cloud burst. Oh, Yampi! 3k for him now. Two versus two. Ten seconds spike has to go down, and it will. Just in the nick of time, but in that time, we'll see Sentinels closing the distance, moving closer. Great shot there from Flink. Down to Yampi now, looking for the ace here. Yampi with operator trying to... Skate his way back into a better angle. Swapping out for the Phantom. Dodges the flash. And he's found, oh, he's found it! He's Whoa! found it! Yampi with the ace! Unbelievable series of kills from Yampi to Paul Liquid. Sky has some great pop flash spray transfer potential. So the honorable mention is Supposer's spray transfer 4K. There's nothing there! Supposer with four and ace! But the best use of Sky Utility is Stax's 1v4 versus Paper X on Bind. Because <laughs> I feel like it's going to be higher than anyone else ever. Because it's, it's like their rotation there. It's so quick. The thing is, I've been very surprised with my free peaks. He actually does off the back of the stun. He gives an opportunity to flash through as well. Stax is doing incredibly well to isolate these jewels. The other player is coming in on the flank. And he can somehow find this rag. He's got an opportunity and actually moves into a safe spot to utilize the Seekers. He's going to get the wall bang. Four down. And now he even knows where Forsaken is. Could just go for the plant. Bringing this back to try and ace it. Pop flash out to leave him blind. Leaves himself blind a little bit as well. Forsaken still just trying to sneak his way, trying to ruin the day of Stacks, but he will land the headshot in the end around. Breach is used as a very supportive initiator, but does have the potential for huge plays. The honorable mention goes to Leo's 1v5 on Haven. With the kill on the cloud, Leo is going to get it one way or another. What is that shot? No, this man has been known for clutches, but this would be absurd to be watching the right one, although he's looked away at the moment. He snaps back and clutches it! Leo! But a more iconic play goes to Kowazin's 1 vs 3 to force overtime versus NRG, which is a great use of utility and firepower. In a 2v3, they've got to put everything into this or it's done for Kowazin! He's trying so hard for his side! And the 1v1, Efrenes! Oh, oh my god! god! Kao has both high carry and clutch potential, but the top pick goes to the weirdest ace in Valorant history by Crashies. Oh 
the ropes. How many players going across? Pure silence. No! No way! No, no way! No way! Like no way! I don't think we will ever witness anything like that. Last round in the half. Ever again in VCT history. For fade, I was torn between a few plays, but there's one play that stands above the rest. The honorable mentions goes to EU's insane 1v5 versus the guard. We value from playing that heavy off-site situation. Wait a second! You is like no, he's no a read, no shot. So low and he holds it in the shot. It's Taxis 3k versus again. FPX. I have no idea he's here this early. He's got one, he's got three. Oh my what? god! No! What? No! Again. What? Not again. But the one that takes the cake is Enzo's ice cold clutch. But how can he do it with just the operator? The double swing. Enzo! You can't be doing this, son. A 1v2 swaps the weaponry around. The players are low. A single bullet on either of them. It might be enough. It could be enough. The horde dropped. Positioning gained. And now that a few stuck down to half, he knows where the opposition oh! is. He's sticking it. What an insane play from Enzo. Ice cold. Gecko has not been out very long. There's only one play that comes to mind, which is Angel's Bulldog Ace on Pearl. And the rest of the team is sitting back. Nobody looking to try and steal it, trying to help him out. Angel's gonna take himself the ace to make it 12 on the board. At the moment, Phoenix is not used in pro play a lot. However, Sick used to play him a lot back in Sentinels. So the honorable mention goes to him with his ace versus 100 thieves. Well, he's actually concealed by that game. And he swings oh. on over. Four kills, five kills, an ace for Sick as he shuts down. And the top pick also goes to him with his clutch versus Xset. All oh, pures offline. Beautiful Sick. Sick looking to get a second. Yep, that's going to open things up. Being on fire, will they be able to retake now as they're just picking them apart? Sick with another one, but it's a 2v1. Can he stand tall versus both Death and BCJ? He's been tagged. He's got the op. Or excuse me, he's got the old Sick. There it is. And my gosh. Yoru is only used by one team in the top, which is Paper X. So the top pick goes to this crazy TP play from Forsaken. Is without that bathroom's control, it becomes a much tougher task to get a blonde down. You know, TP? Watch out! He just TP'd right by! I can't believe he's done that. Oh no! Toms? Toms? What the fuck? What the fuck? He's literally in the middle of four of them with a judge. Rain is the Ray Boss of Valorant. Either running it down in ranked or dropping 30. When pro players are feeling it, Rainer can be scary to play against. The honorable mentions goes to Kesnit 6k on Icebox. By Mystic. The Raz on Durka as well, but Kesnit just is able to mow them down. They're sitting ducks. They can't find any room to breathe. As Kesnit says, you didn't get the ace, Durka, but baby, I did. Oh. Scream's ace on Split versus Ascend. There is a whiff from CNET. Opportunity for Scream. If he can find him, there we go. Scream looking to make it happen. Oh my god, Scream gets himself an ace! If that doesn't bring Liquid back into this, I don't know what will. But the most memorable Rainer play goes to Tens as 4k with a frenzy on Icebox. Uh, he is Tens, he's got the frenzy, and he's got a oh. kill. Man, all up in Moose's face, and he's getting a jumping one as well on the Thief. I said this the first time I called Tens, this is his world, and we're just living in it. He's got four, he's going hunting for the ace. Let him off the leash, he's digging it. 20 seconds into the round. The race has great I... movement potential, making plays with Ray is common. The honorable mention goes to Victor with his ace versus Loud. Oh my. What a he has two. Victor is killing them in the back lines. He has, he has to hold elbow. Wait, this is good. Oh, it worked out. And he's gonna go in. Oh no, my god. Good job. Good job. Victor. Oh. Wait. Hello? Oh my god. Oh my god. But the top pick is a legendary ace from Nukia. Idea there from Meadow hasn't quite worked See. out in practice, and Zeke has found another Nukia. 
Is he the playmaker that gets G2 into this round again? Oh, oh, oh my wow, God. just aerial movements. This guy's a gymnast. Nukia with lethal gymnastics has taken down another. There's two kills in this round, and G2 are back into the 3v3. Spike is charging its way back over to this A site in the 33 seconds left. Nuke just found another. He'll send up in towards heaven those paint shells and reloads and oh still gets the kill. Nuke just so cool under pressure. He's just standing watching him as he reloads, knowing he has the kill. And now Bone Cold left. Well, he is shaking as Nuke is one away from getting the ace, the incredible 5k from Nuke lies in front of him. Bone Cold begins to walk out through lamps, but this time it's ticking, and Bone Cold has so much to do. One smoke available. Nuke now extends from the showers and confirms his ears. He finds all five. Neon is all about getting up in people's faces. With the potential for great movement and stuns, the honorable mention goes to Asuna with his quick anti-eco ace. Oh, so well. Oh! Oh my oh goodness! My God. God, dude! What? Kind of, that, was that, was okay. that was fucking terrible. Okay, that, that was fucking terrible. That was fucking terrible. But the top pick goes to Saunders Ace on Pearl at the Game Changers Global Finals. Saunders and Brown just trying to spray through. Here is the issue. There's no flashes coming out on the attacks. So they're trying to come out of these smokes. It's going to be so dangerous. And we're just shocking and shocking trying to land these shots. That refreshes on that kill. Wow. Here's another one. And the fourth looking for the ace. And shit is going to get it to seal the deal for Shopify. Watch this. Jet is the holy grail of the hard carry, having the potential to take over the entire game. Therefore, finding the best play ever with Jet is virtually impossible. So here are just some of the best. This point. Unless something like Yay gets involved. He needed that to be cleaner, couldn't quite find intention. Pushes himself oh, into my them. Word. Three found. Give him the four. Crashies will fall for him. Give him the ace. Ten. Slow B plays mostly in Durka. He's already gonna find screen. Oh, he is. He's gonna keep going, but the flank is underway in the early stages of this rally. Forward for three. A fourth on the Yampi and Solkus. The final remaining player, he wants to peek Operator in hand, but gonna run right into Durka for the ace. Hey, what the fuck? Oh! Well, you better not steal his ace, bro. It's all a setup. It's all a setup for the play. Ah! of a shot on the attacking side, but with a commanding scoreline like we had on the half, that's how the cookie crumbles. But let's see if there's anything left in the tank. What can they bring us here? Already heats for the spot out. Most of the play, it also just takes up. Oh, Makiba's head, the follow-up as well. This ain't pretty. He <laughs> doesn't need to zoom in. Doesn't he? No <laughs> get out of here. Get out. This should be a good catch. Act one. Oh, it's the collapse. Sick. Get another. What's happening? Unbelievable! I can't do this. He no. gets the ace. Media oh. is this man? Cool, that's fine. Okay, I think no. there was. I think there was a pixel, but I mean, bloody no, no. The mob's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He finds himself in a one v four. All reset. Make that a one v three. 30 seconds left. Reset! Okay, make that a 1v2. Defo manages to pick up the spike as well. Understands he goes there, Ethan's going in there as well, and goes into the ground Defo, good for four. Looking to work the ace with the blade storm. He go. He's got a Util! Defo does it! My goodness, the ace to kick off the series for Gambit! Absolutely absurd. Never should have. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe and also check out my other videos.